and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist with an interest in all things relating to healthy ageing and how to look and feel better for longer. And as I explore new approaches and innovations, of which there are so many in this field right now, I sometimes stumble along some more controversial theories and methods. Today's interview is a fascinating example of that. I'm talking to Mario Brenovich, who is the founder of Analemma, which makes devices he claims can transform the water we drink into something closer to its natural state when it's first taken from a spring. And he fervently believes that water, of which we are largely composed, is the key to our health and well-being, and that we can alter its structure to bring us even greater benefits. The interview came around after I was contacted by Claire Ashton and Tracy Winterborn, co-founders of the Atta Life Wellness site, who asked if I wanted to try out this quartz glass analemma wand sold on their site, which is said to contain coherent water, also known as structured water, with the claim being that when it comes into contact with regular water, it transforms its state. Well, naturally, I was extremely curious and I had a lot of questions, and that's when they put me in touch with Mario Brainovich. Now, needless to say, while the concept of coherent or structured water is gaining some momentum and attention right now, and its proponents claim to be gathering evidence, which we're going to hear about, it is important to point out that this is not an independently proven approach and it is a controversial one with a number of respected scientists lining up to discredit it. So I will link to the research discussed by Mario Brainovich in the video description below, along with a health news article setting out in a balanced way where science currently stands on this. And I'll also link to an article on the Conversation website written by a chemist and titled, Don't Fall for the Snake Oil Claims of Structured Water. Key to the criticism is that while you may be able to disrupt the structure of water with intense pulsed light or other methods, a lot of scientists will argue it's unlikely that the water would be able to hold that new structure for very long. That said, there have been a number of studies following the effects of structured water on farm animals that were reviewed in the Journal of Animal Science. And that review points to some indications that structured water with longer stability has been created using a selection of minerals, magnetic and light energy, with beneficial effects apparently observed on the animals as a result of drinking it. Now that review was sponsored by a maker of structured water. So it's fair to say this is a developing theory and area of research, which in this interview, I'm approaching with an open but critical mind, as we all should. So let's hear firsthand from Mario Brenovich, CEO of Analemma, as he makes the case for coherent water. Mario, thank you so much for joining me on the channel. Uh, where are you joining me from? Where are you today? Actually, Croatia. I'm joining you from Croatia. How lovely, never been, but somewhere I would love to visit. Oh, it's a beautiful country. You you have to come. And what's it like? What's the weather like in spring in Croatia then? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Uh, now it's like uh, near 20 degrees, sunny. It's, it's beautiful. You're selling it to me already. I'm in Scotland, Mario. So anything beyond oh. about, you know, seven degrees Celsius is a real, is a real gain yeah, for me. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Um, so I have been using the Analemma wand for a couple of weeks now, and it, it is a fascinating prospect that just by stirring my water with this little tool, I could improve my well-being. Um, but you can imagine I have a lot of questions. So um, I'd love to begin with you, firstly, just because I, I read that you started out in advertising and now you run a wellness business. Actually, there is a one huge company in between, uh -huh. bet between the advertising and, uh, you and know, I was, I've been, yeah, yeah, I've been always very, very, very passionate about health and wellness. And I always mm -hmm. had this inner feeling that our bodies were created perfect, that we have this amazing self-repairing system in ourselves. But I was always kind of fascinating about finding ways how to assist that natural process mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a powerful way. Which led me to kind of, uh, after kind of uh, doing, uh, like having, having pretty successful company in the whole advertising world for, uh, uh, for more than several years, I kind of opened the natural pharmaceutical company mm -hmm. that helped thousands and thousands of people. And it was a really an amazing, a very gratifying experience when you really help people uh, uh, get better. Uh, and I did this for years, uh, and it was also a very successful company. I sold it uh, to Walgreens after I don't know how many years. And then kind of I decided 
if I'm going to invest myself into something, it would really need to be something that's for the highest good of all, something that helps both people, uh, animals, plants, and environment in the whole, something that really checks all the boxes. And how universe provides, I was led uh, to Dr. Eric Larker and Dolph Zantinge, which are the founders of uh, NLM Water. I came into team and I helped with all the... Um, human studies with many other things because this water truly is a blessing and it really has a profound effect on basically any biological system because we tested it as i mentioned on humans on plants on animals and we tested the environmental impact and on every single element it really kind of performs amazingly this is the, the way we see it is how water is meant to be yeah okay okay well um, I'm going to come on to the the studies uh, shortly. Let's let's start with our water as it comes out of our tap. Okay, so I I live in Scotland. Um, the quality of our local drinking water here is is high, um, and I am certainly a believer in drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated. I think there's so many benefits connected with that. But what is wrong with regular water? in your view, as it comes out of our taps right now, if we're if we're living somewhere where the quality is high? So uh, uh, there is a whole science uh, behind it. And we invested in this science for over 15 years now. Mm -hmm. So we tested, and most people just go to the chemical side of water. And that is an important part. Don't, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. You know, there are really a lot of toxins. It's amazing that you're living in Scotland. So the quality of your water is actually much higher than anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. But we tested basically all water, uh, many waters. I'm not going to say all. That would be kind of real, but uh, really weird. But a lot of water samples from all over the planet. And uh, what we found out is that water exists in what we call chaotic state. Mm -hmm. H2O molecules within water move chaotically. They crash into each other constantly. Since all of this happens on an atomic level, nobody really pays attention to it. But this chaos has a profound influence on our health and wellness back in the day uh you know when you know when we're drinking water from the wells or the rivers rivers have this left and right vortex so it keeps the water in what we call a coherent state due to various environmental issues now we can really talk for hours about that the mm -hmm. water that now exists in this chaotic state what our whole endeavor was to find a way to bring water back into the state of harmony. Colloquially speaking, when you bring water in coherent state, those same chaotic H2O molecules, they join hands. Mm -hmm. They form this very special liquid crystalline structure. And that's where the true power of water is being unleashed. So are you of, of the view that you are changing the formula of water? Um, because you read about hexagonal water. Are you saying this is the same thing where you are forming a new structure almost for the water? It is a new structure of water, most assuredly. But there is something more to it. I always like to say, you know, um, famous, famous, one of the most famous scientists uh, uh, on the, of all time, Nikola Tesla said, mm -hmm. if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy frequency and vibration. Mm -hmm. What we found out in our research that water is a broad band absorber, receiver and transmitter of energy, frequency and vibration. So it's the actual fundament of everything. When you change the energetic, biology follows. That's why uh, uh, when people drink this water and when we expose it to all biological systems, we had results all over the place, not just in uh, any particular way, because when you change the fundament, the wellness of that particular being changes on all levels, which we can go into all the details because we did more than several studies and wherever we ventured, we had more than positive results. So this is the fundamental level of our existence. I don't know, mm -hmm. are you aware that 99% of our molecules are water? We're 70% water in mass. I mean, that in and of itself is huge, but 99 in molecules. So we're basically very clever H2O. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I, I am aware of the composition um, of the 60 to 70% composition 
of water. So I can I can imagine how fundamental it is um, to our bodies. It's just I think that where the the pushback will come in people's people's minds is how do we know this water is transformed? So let me take this back to this to this wand, okay? Yes. Um, there it is. That's the wand. Yeah, <laughs> the magic wand. So my understanding is it's a clear quartz crystal tube and it's yes. filled with the structured water. Mother it's water. filled what we call the mother water. It actually takes us one full year to create the mother water which is inside. As I mentioned, uh, uh, water is a broadband absorber, receiver and transmitter of en energy frequency and vibration. And it will always pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment. Mm -hmm. So if you put water in a negative uh, vibrational environment and drink it, you actually drink that particular frequency. And what's a negative vibrational environment? There are many of it on the planet. We realize mm -hmm. that, for instance, if you take a glass of water and put it to a Wi-Fi router, the water goes deeply back into chaos. Okay. So it makes the water chaotic. But there are toxins. There are many, many, many elements. It's mm -hmm. not just... Uh, uh, we're living in a world where we really kind of polluted our planet in ways that we kind of shouldn't. There are yes. so many elements where we're talking about the herbicides, pesticides, everything that we did on the planet, which actually reaches water. Mm -hmm. And then uh, our water is uh, dramatically changed. So we are talking about uh, uh, when you expose... That, that was our whole endeavor to find the most positive dominant frequency of the water. Because then if you expose it to any water, water is just going to pick up that particular dominant frequency. This is why it's so elegant and simple. We put it in a crystal vial for one mm -hmm. simple reason. It creates a barrier between other water and that inside, but it still transmits the frequency of the mother water. So any H2O molecule that comes into close proximity to it starts to mimic its exact structure. And then we yeah. use then we then we use treated water mm -hmm. to do the double blind placebo controlled studies to see the effects on biological systems. Because that's where it is. You know, there there were some scientists that created some form of structured water. And we did, you know, we did. Uh, 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 tests that we prove that the water itself changes, near-infrared, ultraviolet, visual spectroscopy, biophoton research. So water structure changes. That's that's a given. We already proved that a uh, hundred times, but it's not about that. It's about what's the effect of that water on your body. Yeah. But how, how can you prove that the structure has changed? That's what people are going to okay. know. Because when I'm standing, stirring, I'm thinking, okay, this water is in the is encapsulated, the mother water. How is it affecting the water in my my glass jug that I'm stirring every day? And how is that proven? You know, okay. microscopically, so, whatever. Yeah, what yeah. are you so seeing? We did, we, did, uh, we did more than several of those research too, but you know, this is not something that it is has to be done within the lab environment. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, you are not going to see with the naked eye. Uh, uh, any change in the water. What no. you will, and what 95% people, actually even more, but uh, 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 can kind of see immediately or taste is the difference in taste. You can taste the water before you make it coherent, and then you just swirl your, your wand through the water and drink it again. And you can definitely see, okay, something happened there. But uh, I want to say uh, uh, one, one area where you see the result the fastest is the brain waves. What we did is a double blind study with a genetically identical twins. The, it, so these two individuals are genetically identical. And uh, we gave uh, uh, the doctor two glasses of water, one coherent, one uh, uh, NLM of water, coherent water, one regular water. So doctor didn't know which one was which. And when he gave to the twins the water, they didn't know which one was which. And mm -hmm. we followed through QEEG, we followed their brain waves. Almost instantly, as soon as uh, the, the twin that drank uh, 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 NLM of water, there was an instant better connection between the left and the right hemisphere of the brain, an instant cooling effect on the brain waves, which the other twin didn't experience. And we saw that very clearly. And a couple of weeks uh, after that, we repeated the test and gave coherent water 
to the other twin and the same exact reaction happened. And mm -hmm. this is where the NLMA uh, um, water gives almost instant result because yeah. it's electromagnetic in nature. So our brain waves are electromagnetic in nature. And this is something which is very, very measurable. Then after that, we went into studies which proved that the, the very fundamental changes in the biology itself, not just in the brain waves. Um, and and the, the actual transformation of the water itself, how how is that um, how is that proven? How how have you been? As able I mentioned, to we that? did uh, we did this near infrared and ultraviolet visual spectroscopy. So this is one way that scientific community is testing the changes in water. But we actually, uh, since Dr. Uh, Eric Larker and Dolph Zantinge picked, they picked up a lab of a famous German scientist called Fritz Pop, which actually developed this new technology called uh, with which uh, uh, you can pick up or measure biophotons. So every single living organism exudes light, radiate light. Mm -hmm. And if you have enough sophisticated equipment, you can actually capture every biophoton. And we realized, for instance, we did this research on tomatoes, when we grew tomatoes with regular water and with analemma water. And tomatoes that were grown with analemma water, they exude, they radiate 60% more light. They have 60% higher vitality. So this, these are the effects, uh, and I'm just mentioning early research. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we can go into uh, uh, the research that we did in, in the last couple of years, which we did on humans, double-blind, placebo-controlled, which really kind of proved... Uh, we wanted to do tests that would really prove that something biologically remarkable happens when mm -hmm. people drink this water. And this is exactly what we did. So this was the study, you had 19 participants, is that right? Okay, you're talking okay. about gly glycan age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, this was the first study uh, uh -huh. um, uh, uh, that we that we did. We wanted to see uh, why I like glycan age. They're measuring biological age in contrast to your chronological age. But why I like them is their test is much more than just kind of a number of biological age. You have mm -hmm. this... Um, uh, they're they're actually the leaders in glyco science. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have over 120 uh, pub published scientific work in the field of glycans. They uh, through the state of glycans, you can very accurately uh, not only say how your system is at the moment, but also predict uh, uh, your health down the line. So uh, there are two elements. Uh, glycans are crucial uh, in in creation of um, of T cells. Number one uh, defense mechanism of our body. T cells are actually our immune cells, which uh, uh, f which actually go in search of pathogens and destroy them. Mm -hmm. So glycans can tell you what is the state of your immune system, but there is also another element, which is you have this pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory glycans. And this balance tells you about the levels of inflammation in your body and what's going to happen down the line. So, and everybody now knows that chronic inflammation is the leading cause of all diseases. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, what, what they actually did is they take all of this into account and tell you your biological age. And uh, what we did is we took a uh, um, quote-unquote snapshot of uh, the glycan age, of the state of glycans, and then people were drinking, were drinking uh, uh, up to a liter, and two, uh, a liter and a half of water a day for three months. Of the asked. treated water. Of the, the treated water, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we asked, uh, uh, um, we asked a scientist in glycan age, what is the shortest amount of time like necessary, the very shortest for the glycans to change. And they told us it's three months. Mm -hmm. okay. You cannot change the glycans less than three months. So this was the bare minimum that we did. And we and then uh, uh, people were drinking the water without changing anything else in the world, their diets, exercise regime, anything. And then we did another snapshot, quote unquote. And uh, results were really remarkable. Uh, people experienced between one and 12 years of mm -hmm. biological age rejuvenation. Their whole system got rejuvenated on a molecular level, which is really awesome. And what kind of benefits were they feeling? I mean, what could people expect to uh, feel if they did oh, the same for three months? 
I mean, we already kind of, there are now thousands and thousands of people using NLMA. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're getting every single day, we're getting stories uh, uh, all over the planet with the results people are experiencing. As I mentioned uh, uh, earlier in our conversation, uh, this is the most fundamental level of our existence. When you change that, everything else changes. And in my experience, uh, when, when I've been exposed to all the results of these people beside the studies that we're actually doing, is that uh, uh, it's really kind of fascinating to me how the intel, there's this incredible intelligence in our body, incredible intelligence. And as soon as you give it more energy, as soon as you kind of create an environment in you're helping, assisting, because body is doing the work. Body is actually repairing itself. Take me back to where you were saying that it took a year to create the mother water. Yes. What happens in that year? What do you do to create the water? So uh, there are there are several scientists on the planet have found a way to bring water into coherent state. They're actually um, uh, using vortexes. They're using magnets. They're using various crystals to kind of... Uh, uh, and actually, they do have an effect. They do bring water in, in coherent state. But the main difference between th those technologies and our technology is that uh, with uh, all of those, and we tested uh, pretty much all of them, the water goes back into chaos between a couple of minutes and day and a half. So it takes this very particular structure, but then between a couple of minutes and day and a half tops, it just goes back into the chaos. With yeah. our technology it never goes out of state of coherence. We tested it now five consecutive years, just this water that was treated once, and it never actually went out of the state of coherence. We actually did many things to it, trying to see whether it will go out of the state of coherence, and it never did. We radiated it. We did all kinds of things to it, and it never lost the state. It's extraordinarily stable that way. And how do you get it there? What what are you doing to treat the water? No, but to create the mother water inside ah, that okay. tube, how, okay, how do you okay. do it? Okay, so uh, there are five stages. Mm -hmm. I can. Uh, we are not actually sharing that information because we decided we don't want to uh, make a patent out of it. Mm -hmm. Because when you share a patent, then everybody knows about it. Okay. And it's a, it's a technology that we developed. I can tell you there are five stages. Uh, uh, we are using actually something that um, I'm going to just mention one phase. We're mimicking lightnings in one phase. Uh, lightning as in thunder yes. and lightning. Okay. Yes. So this is just one phase. There are many phases. We don't like to talk about it too much, but that's why when the fifth phase, uh, stage is completed after one year, the water doesn't go back. But yeah, because... You know, when I've when I've looked at bo both sides with, um, you know, proponents of structured water and those who say it's not possible, they will say that water molecules are constantly moving and that, you, that they just can't hold that shape. Just so you know, every single year, uh, all the water scientists on the planet come for, to the water conference. We know all of them. And it's a very small community. It's not huge. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's so interesting. It would be awesome that... Um, uh, kind of, uh, I, I'm, I can tell you one thing. I believe that the next century is going to be the century of science of water because people will really start to kind of understand when we are the pioneers in it. And mm. the results that we are having are really remarkable. So many scientists are now kind, kind of jumping on board because nobody really took a hard look at it. They just have a hypothesis about it. We didn't want to stay on, on the hypothesis level. We actually wanted to dive deep. And not only, that's why we didn't even want to stay on the on the level of, okay, is it in the state of uh, uh, a liquid crystalline structure or not, even though we proved that it is. And it's not fixed. It's actually movable. But all of the H2O molecules move together. They're not moving, uh, uh, they're not crashing into each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything happens in harmony. That's why we said that we discovered coherent fields in the water when water comes in this very particular state. Mm -hmm. So we, we don't even kind of like to call it structured. We like yeah. to call it coherent because, you know, especially, you know, people are, because people are talking about structured water. We're calling it full spectrum coherent water, not structured, even though it is. Yeah. 
if you know what I mean. So um, this is kind of technical, but I want to explain uh, uh, the whole diagram. And drinking um, natural spring water and so on, is that very similar? Uh, well, we actually found that if you go deep into the mm -hmm. nature mm -hmm. and uh, you, you, you can find wells that have coherent water, but as soon as you take it out, a couple of minutes later, the water goes back into chaos. Right. Okay. Yeah. To be honest, we kind of feel. I mean, maybe this is a spiritual thing, but but we kind of feel that that Mother Earth is the hidden voice of this project, because we kind of found a way to create to bring all the water in this very particular state, and then everybody in any situation can use it. And since we are the part of this planet, we need clean water that is structured in a way that is the most beneficial for our health. This is the way water was intended to be used. Yeah, well, that, that's why I'm trying to get my head around why, you know, if something in a deep natural spring would not be the ultimate form of water because that's how nature it created it. Okay. It is. But you're but saying you when you take to... it out, it... Yes, it is there, as I mentioned, but you would have to live next... next You'd have to drink well. it straight away. Yeah, yeah. and then, yeah. then it works. Okay. And this is, and as I mentioned, back in the day, every single stream of, uh, you have a creeks of water, you have rivers, you could drink the water mm -hmm. directly from the source. And that particular water was in that uh, uh, coherent state. Now it isn't due to various whatever happens on the planet in the last hundred years. When it comes to the water, I've got to say, I have, I come to this with an open-minded, curious but questioning state. I, I completely, I completely understand that. But that's why we are investing so much into hardcore science. Um, well, what I will do is I will link to related studies in the video description. We talked about the glycan age one. Is there another one that people should be aware of? Uh, there are two, like the, okay. ma the major ones mm -hmm. that we have to talk about. So um, I would like to uh, speak about now the science science in the last two decades has connected the state of our microbiome with basically any area of our health. So we are not talking about just digestive health. We're talking about immune health. We're talking about cognitive health. Mm -hmm. We're talking about our moods. Everything is connected to the microbiome. Yeah. What we yeah. did is a, a double-blind, placebo-controlled study where we measured what is called dysbiosis index. This mm -hmm. biosis index describes the degree of deviation within the microbiome, taking into account all the bacterial phyla and species and their weighing factor. So uh, uh, we, did, we took a snapshot of the microbiome at the beginning of the study. Then people were drinking uh, uh, the water for two months. And after that, we took another snapshot. And we had 17% improvement on the dysbiosis index on average over the placebo. But what's more important is that we took another look at the pathogenic bacteria, not just the good ones, and we had 47% improvement on the, over the placebo in pathogenic bacteria, which clearly showed that there is this balancing effect. The good bacteria go down, the bad bacteria get, uh, get vanish. So there is this whole equilibrium. People like to think uh, 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 like of ours or ourselves as like we are the single species. No, we are an entire ecosystem. There are more microbes in our body than actual human cells. Mm -hmm. There are more than 150 uh, times uh, uh, um, uh, microbe genes than human genes. 150 times more. So equilibrium of this ecosystem is extraordinarily important. And the number one element there is water. Everything exists in water. And we proved when you change the water, you change the microbiome. If you change the microbiome, you're basically changing any area of your health. This is one study. The other study that we did is where we measured ATP. ATP. So, ATP, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is the primary energy currency of the cell. It's directly responsible for powering the majority of cellular processes in our body, including muscle contraction, nerve impulse transmission, biochemical reactions, every breath. 
Every movement, every heartbeat depends on ATP. It is mitochondrial energy of our body. So we did a double blind placebo control study where we measured ATP levels mm -hmm. in our body. So people were, we took a snapshot of the ATP. We actually employed luciferase, which is an enzyme that catalyzes light production in bioluminescent organisms. And due to its extraordinary sensitivity, you can measure ATP levels in humans with it, which is fascinating. Anyhow, we took a snapshot of the ATP levels in, in people. Then they drank the water for two months without changing anything else in the world. They didn't change their exercise regime. They didn't change their diets, anything. And then we took another snapshot. And we had 20% rise over the placebo. Entire mitochondrial energy of your body increases by 20% just by drinking the water. How do you measure that? How do you measure mitochondrial energy? As I mentioned, uh, I explained the, the system that we use, and it's the system that is wildly used. So we use the system that is uh, uh, usually used by science to measure ATP levels. And, you know, there, there are extraordinary connections uh, 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 between ATP levels and basically any area, again, of the health. Uh, scientists now agree that, I mean, they agreed for uh, as soon as they kind of found out anything that mitochondrial function, when the mitochondrial function starts to go down, then we experience cellular aging. Mm -hmm. And cellular aging has a profound effect on basically anything in our bodies. Yes. And, and we proved that when you drink this water, just by drinking the water, your entire mitochondrial energy rises by 20%. Actually, it's 27, but in, in hardcore scientific research, you always use over the placebo. Okay. Well, I, I think that there is a lot more to come on this, certainly. Um... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. There, there is, e there is e even another thing that we could talk about. I don't know how much time we have. But, uh, because I'm telling you, we barely scratched the surface mm -hmm. of the beauty of this water. Really. There is a whole agriculture aspect to it, which is extraordinary we actually developed new uh, now new uh, uh, product which is called whole house and lemma where where people don't even have to swirl you just open your tap and you have uh, a coherent water and we did and we're doing now a hundred people study where people lay down in this water for uh, uh, 20 to 40 minutes and the results are off the charts we didn't even so bathing in the water bathing in yeah. water you just i mean we know that when you bathe in water for like an hour you are going to absorb up to a liter of water but we hypothesized that there is something more there happening uh, uh, because results we're receiving are, are really, really phenomenal. Every single person experiences uh, increase in cardiac output, in stroke volume, in blood viscosity, in red blood cells count. Uh, we are now completing 100 people study. Uh, this study is uh, done in America. So uh, as soon as we have the complete study, we'll share the results. But the results are really phenomenal it surprised us this water surprises us kind of constantly wherever we kind of venture with it and we are now playing i don't know how many studies are now uh, uh, being performed so we are constantly investing in it because we know that this water can can change the world actually and i mean when you talk about the water water science conference that must be a, a fascinating one to go to but are there um independent studies going on around this i mean how much interest is this still a very oh, niche this, area this, or all, are we going to see of, this all of our studies are independent just so you know so we are not doing them ourselves we are uh, uh, um, uh, always contacting either with the universities or whatever, and they're doing the doing the studies. We're just presenting what was there. But there are, you know, uh, uh, there is a very famous scientist called Dr. Gerald Pollack. He actually uh, uh, created what is called, uh, he calls easy water or exclusion zone water. He mm -hmm. came to structure uh, structured water in his own way. Now mm -hmm. we're actually uh, uh, collaborating with him where we are uh, testing the effects of easy water and NLM water to see what are the similarities and what are the, the differences in its effect. Uh, there is a whole kind of world to it. And we are very, very much connected with all the scientists. And I'm telling you, that's why I mentioned, I believe that this century 
will be the century water. It will, when it starts to come, it will become mainstream and then everybody yeah. will understand. I mean, it's definitely uh, piqued my curiosity. Thank you, Mario. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I hope you enjoyed that interview. It's certainly, I think, the most controversial area I've explored on this channel, but I did want to take a look at it because it's likely something you'll be hearing more about in one way or another, and now you have some context. And while I agree with Mario that there's very likely much more to come from scientists around our understanding of the role of water in life and its impact on our health and well-being and what we can do to better harness its benefits, when it comes to the concept of creating structured or coherent water that can then maintain its structure over time, we just don't have the body of truly independent peer-reviewed evidence there right now. And without the transparency around how this mother water is made, it becomes very difficult to assess and understand what we're being told in a meaningful way and whether stirring this wand through water alone could possibly change its structure and then hold that structure and deliver benefits for our cell productivity. I will no doubt return to the subject of water science and innovation with another expert who brings a different perspective at some point on the channel because it's clearly an area for development. For now, let me know what you think in the comments section. I know there will be a lot of opinions on this one and I do love to hear them. And until next time, thanks for joining me.